Good afternoon, natural building enthusiasts. I'm Mike Cantrell. I'm here to show you how a Sinva Ram works and how the pieces go together. So to start off with, this is a this is a Sinva Ram. The mechanism here is, is centered around this L-shaped cam, and what it does is to pull a plate inside up against a lid which doesn't move. So you would you would uh, you start with your ram and open like this. You'd fill soil in, close the lid, pull this piece on, unlatch the latch, and then as you pull the handle down, this L-shaped cam pulls this up, and as you can see, it's it's pulling it's pulling this uh, peg up. The, the pin goes all the way through and it's pulling the plate up on the inside. So that's that's the that's the that's the motion. It it, it pulls the pulls the plate up inside, which squeezes the soil against the fixed lid, and then when you take it off, you slide this over. The arms bear on this uh, pivot pin right there. You open the lid, and your beautiful block is right here. And then you pull the handle back the other direction which serves to push the, uh, the the plate up and out so that you can grab your so that you can grab your uh, fresh crisp block this one is uh, got some roots in it and it's kind of been freeze thawed and it's not really a beautiful block but it's the closest one I had to hand your beautiful crisp wet block is here and you take it and you set it aside to dry that's the that's the action let's dismantle it Okay, uh, we're going to start, let's just go from the top down, how about that? Uh, so, I'm not going to take every single thing apart. Um, some of them are obviously welded together and some of them the cotter pins are kind of tight and it's easy to see how they go even without that. Uh, but let's do this one. So we're going we're gonna to take apart the cam from the arms. That's this pin right here. It's uh, two and a half inches long. Uh, all of these pins are uh, one inch cold rolled with the exception of the little one that the hinge pivots on and the little one that the lid pivots on. They can be whatever you have on hand. Uh, they don't matter. Everything else is one inch cold rolled. When I say one inch cold rolled, that's um, uh, one inch round stock, cold rolled, mild steel. Uh, if you are fortunate enough to be in a part of a country like I am where you can just go to a store and buy steel, uh, then you'll see racks that say uh, mild steel or 1018 steel uh, cold rolled and 1018 steel hot rolled. Uh, the difference is kind of just what it sounds like is whether it's rolled hot or cold at the steel mill. Practically speaking, cold rolled is uh, truer to uh, size. When it says one inch round, it'll be pretty darn close to one inch, and it'll be pretty darn close to round, whereas one inch hot roll will be, uh, the, the tolerances are looser. It can be larger or smaller, and it can be oval or otherwise not round. Um, and so for an application like this, where you're trying to pass pins through holes, cold roll costs a hair more, and it's absolutely worth it. Uh, so you're, so all of these, all of these pins here, uh, that one here and here are one inch cold rolled uh, round mild steel stock. So uh, having so I took the pin out that connected the arms from the cam. The cam here has another pin that uh, goes through. I'm not going to take it out because it doesn't matter. Uh, it's you can see I've got homemade cotter pins just out of wire holding that in place. It's a little bit rusty because it never moves. So it's not really going to come out and it doesn't need to. Uh, it bears on the grooves in the, in the wings of the lid here. Uh, it, it lets the pivot up and down happen. Uh, this big block is uh, two inches by, I think I said five and a half or six. I actually measured it above somewhere in the thread. Uh, and then here, it's, I think this is one and a half inches wide. It's not as wide as it needs to be. Uh, these 
you, in the plans, you've got four identical pieces here, uh, rectangles with rounded tops and a, and a one-inch hole through them. These are each quarter inch doubled up to make a half inch and doubled up to make a half inch. There's four of them. The, I was, uh, this, my redesign here from metric to English is, revolves around having everything, almost everything, as much as possible, cut out of a one inch plate. I'm, uh, excuse me, cut out of a, out of a big uh, quarter inch steel plate. So, so all of these pieces are quarter inch. Some of them need to be half inch and some of them even need to be one inch. And so for those, I just cut, I just cut multiples and, and weld them together along the edge. That's been completely satisfactory. I don't regret that at all. Um, what I was saying, this block, I've got, we were using what we had on hand. This is one and a half by two. Uh, you can see that these hang over. That's not ideal. It hasn't caused any trouble, but it's not good. This should really be two by two so that you've got room for, uh, to weld these onto the edges. And then it has to go around this one inch piece over here. It has to be an inch wide so that it can straddle that and, and this one inch piece can be in the middle. Into this end, uh, again, we were just using what we had on hand. So this is a one inch hole drilled in lengthwise. Uh, for another piece of one inch round to form the handle. We, uh, we were making do, we have one inch piece around, another piece of pipe for a sleeve, and then a big long pipe goes on the top of that. This, we needed the sleeve to take up the, the slack between them so it would, we could actually get a grip on it. And then here at the other end, you weld one piece of pipe and a rod the right size to go through it for the pin to pivot on, and it just, it just belongs at the end there. Um, and, then the, and then the latch uh, goes on that way. And so this is the, this is the cam that, that actually does, this is, what, this is what does the pressing. This is the pressing part, is, uh, is, the, is, is pulling down this, pulling the lever down, pushes these pins up. When, when the lever goes down, these come up, and that's, the, and that's the motion, because they're using the arms to pull up this plate. So that's the, that's the cam, here's the arms. Um, the arms are, uh, the, they're, it's obvious which pieces they are in the plans, they're the long ones with a hole in the end. Uh, you have rectangles here, and then in the middle, I'm going to take this off now, so I'm going to take the pin out of them. The pin passes through the arms, through the plates on the inside, and then out through the plate on the other, uh, on the other side. So I'm going to take this off like this. So the arms have a one inch piece in the middle. And again, since this is all cut out of quarter inch plate, the one inch piece is actually four quarter inch ones uh, welded together along the edge, welded into a one inch stack. Uh, and then the hole trued up with a die grinder. In my case, you could do whatever you needed to. Uh, this needs to be one inch thick because this is where all the force happens. All of the, the you, you can generate a really tremendous amount of force with a six foot lever that direction uh, moving a couple of inches this direction and so that, that all pushes up. The, that cam pushes up all right here uh, and so this has got to be pretty stout to, to handle that. In fact if you want to uh, if you want to see something funny um, at first my friend and I didn't know what we were doing we were overloading the machine and jumping up and down on the end of the lever to uh, pack in more soil than what was reasonable or right and so we bent this uh, quarter inch by two inch plate into an arc that way. Uh, and you may or may not be able to tell uh, on camera, but this one, uh, this one is bent into an arc this way. Uh, we are starting to distort these pretty serious pieces of steel. Uh, but that's, and so uh, for the sake of science, that's where, the, that's where the failure point is. That's what gives first is these, is these pieces. Uh, so that's, that's the arms. This piece moves up and down this way to, to pull on the plate on the inside. I'm going to set the lid aside for a second to show you the plate from the inside. So this is, this is the piece that gets pushed. It has, it has two holes. Uh, that's a function of uh, experimentation. This hole doesn't matter. This hole is the right one. Uh, Again, converting from metric to English, we were winging it. This, we we tried this. This is uh, this is 
this ends up putting it too far away from the lid and you and it doesn't this this one doesn't work you don't need that hole you need this hole uh, <clears throat> what's going on here is a piece of quarter inch piece of quarter inch plate it's got two wings uh, here to well they serve to uh, they they hit the edges of the box if this tips side to side and it really wants to because it's just riding on one pin um, there isn't anything holding it straight up and down uh, these will bump into the sides of the box and keep it more or less uh, traveling up and down um, you have four of these identical ones uh, just like the other ones these are welded together into two half inch sheets because uh, you know, again, the closer you are to the force, the, the stouter you have to be uh, to withstand it. So these are, um, you have four identical rectangles with a hole in one end. It's well two here, well two here to make two half inch plates. And then, the, and then that's the, this is the, this is what presses. This comes up to, to squeeze against the lid. Second to last is the lid itself. Um, the lid is a, is a flat, is a rectangle of a uh, quarter inch. It's got these two um, ramp shaped ones so that the, uh, um, so, so that this, so that the pin here will ride up and over them and, and drop into the grooves. Uh, it, you know, it, 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 roll, it rolls up this way and then falls into place so you don't have to fool with it or, or or lift it up yourself you just you know you pull the lever back it drops in uh, this pivot this whole pivot assembly is just kind of winging it this isn't this isn't precise um, it's a piece of pipe welded to the outside piece of plate welded to the top uh, it's got a little pin in it. Do yourself a favor and taper this in so that you can get it in there easily when everything's covered with dirt. Um, and then it's you know offset a little bit so that it can uh, so that it can swing all the way. It can swing fully clear over here. Uh, and, and when you're bringing your block up, um, again you'll you'll find this out the hard way. But you've got to round these corners off so that they. As this spins around, you don't cut into the uh, into the edge of your fresh block. That's the that's the lid, and then this is the box. The box is the two biggest rectangles. Uh, there was a question earlier in the thread about the holes at the bottom. They're arbitrary. They just serve to serve to hold whatever feet on that you choose. Um, these feet are uh, old, rusty, twisted pieces of angle iron. You could use whatever you wanted. I don't know if I, I think I changed the slot in the plans here, but I'm not positive. As I was converting it from the metric plans that I bought, uh, this had a very wide slot, almost two inches. That meant that, the, that this pin would, uh, would, would, would rattle around and it wanted to bind against the sides instead of uh, rolling up and down smoothly. So we had to put these, we had to, we had to shrink the slot by putting plate on, on the edges of it. Uh, so that needs to be that needs to be an inch uh, and a sixteenth or so. It needs to be enough for the for the one inch bar to roll freely, but not so much that the one inch bar can kick over to the side and bind up. Uh, and then there's and then this pin is the one that the uh, that the arms this is the one that the arms pivot on for uh, for, for bringing your block up at the end. You 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 push the handle that direction that pulls this pin up with the plate uh, on the inside and uh, and and brings you delivers you your uh, your beautiful CEB on a silver platter uh, and so that the position of that one is fairly critical uh, I think it's I think it's exactly halfway I could be remembering wrong but it's um, it, 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 it does need to be exactly where it is and nowhere else Okay, I believe that's it. Thanks for joining me. If you build one of these, you've got to post pictures because that's what we're all here for on the internet is to see pictures of other people's projects. And good luck out there.